It's November 2024, and I'm visiting Frenchman Cooley in central Washington. This is a stunning desert landscape with towering vertical cliffs set against the flat floor of the Cooley. The colorful cliffs often consist of long columns of volcanic basalt. The Cooley was formed about 15,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age, when rapidly melting ice created episodes of truly immense flooding. The flooding led to incredibly deep and rapid flowing rivers, unlike anything known today. These rapidly flowing waters cut through the volcanic rock that covered the area and created the coulees and valleys of central Washington. The beautiful landscape of this area makes it a popular place to visit. The steep cliffs are also very popular with climbers. Surprisingly, despite being a very arid desert area, Frenchman Cooley has a lovely small waterfall. To get to Frenchman Cooley, the last part of my highway journey was on Interstate 90. I got off of Interstate 90 at exit 143 and then traveled a short distance on Silica Road before turning onto Vantage Road. Here I'm headed southwest on Vantage Road. On the right you can begin to see the cliffs of Frenchman Cooley. Also on the right of the road is a flat area where some people are camping. The access road going down to the camping area is quite rough. High clearance vehicles are probably necessary to drive onto the flat area adjacent to the cliffs. I didn't think I could drive my van into the camping area, but I could see that it would provide a really nice view of the cliffs on the north side of the coulee. So I parked by the road and walked down into the camping area. As you can see, the camping area indeed provided a great spot to view the cliffs on the other side of the coulee. Just a little further along Vantage Road, there's a very good view of the waterfall on the north side of the coulee. On the left is an area where parking and camping is permitted with a Washington State Discovery Pass. I didn't see anyone camping in this area during my visit. On the left again is another area that also requires a discovery pass. I'm going to camp in this area. The access road into this camping area is quite rough in a number of places with deep ruts and large protruding rocks. As my van doesn't have great road clearance, I tried to carefully pick my way and I didn't go very far into the camping area. I did manage to find a relatively level camping spot with good views of the rock walls and coulee. As mentioned earlier, this area is very popular for hikers and climbers. I'm visiting in November and even at this off-season time there are a number of people camping here. It may be difficult to find a spot at more popular times of the year.
An interesting and beautiful rock formation called Feathers is on the north side of the camping area. There are trails that climb up to Feathers, and I set out on foot to get a closer look at the rock formation. At this point I stop to enjoy a view of the rock wall ahead of me. From this point the trail goes to the left, towards Feathers. Interestingly, once I climbed up to Feathers, I could see that there's a pretty good gap in the rock wall. My trail climbing was rewarded with a view of the scenery on the other side of Feathers. I have to admit that the view is quite similar to the view from the side where I started the climb. I had good weather during my visit to Frenchman Cooley with mainly clear blue skies. That created good conditions for viewing the night sky. Here we have the night sky looking to the northeast. In the morning I wanted to explore the area south of my campsite. This aerial view shows multiple trails and what appears to be a gravel road which leads to the south part of the campground and beyond.
I started walking south following the trails in the gravel road. A closer look at the cliff directly ahead shows a jumbled pattern of deeply weather-worn rocks. The Frenchman Cooley area seems to contain many different kinds of rocks, ranging from shiny, almost glass-like rocks to crumbling, weathered rocks. In this area there appear to be several trails going in different directions. I chose a trail which goes east and seemed to lead up a small canyon. climbs east up the canyon and then emerges on the plateau at the east end of Frenchman Cooley. Once up on the plateau, branches of the trail go north and south. I hiked north on the plateau for a while and then returned to my camper van. The sun sets over Frenchman Cooley. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.